Hey, what's going on guys? It's Pat and today we are taking a look at the Little Maid Mob mod. And this is actually a really cool mod even though it looks extremely girly. It adds a ton of stuff to the game and these little maids will follow you around and do like every Minecraft task you can imagine, which is kind of cool. And you can actually change how their hair looks as well. Just do that after we capture her actually. You can tame them. They're considered mobs, which is kind of funny and they love cake. They maids love cake, guys. Who knew? But yeah, she'll follow you around for the cake, use the cake on her, and now she is my maid, and she is escorting me, which is pretty cool. So what she's going to do in this way, she's going to just follow you around in escorting mode. So there's a bunch of different modes. So if I were to drop this, she would actually grab it if she walks over it. So there we go. So now that is in her inventory. She has her own little inventory, which is kind of cool. Um, what we can do is a, really a lot of stuff. We're going to change the color of her hair first. Any kind of dye, you can change the color of her hair. And there we go, it is changed now. And it actually gives it a completely different style as well. As you can see, they change. Take a look at it. Changes a little bit. Um, you can actually get an extra mod to go along with this one, which I didn't get because I didn't feel like, you know, adding multiple mods. This one actually did cause a couple crashes, to be honest with you, for me. Um, maybe it'll be fine for you, but I've had a couple crashes um, while, doing, while messing with this. Um, but yeah, you can get another mod, and what it does is it just lets you choose from different models of maids. In this one, you just have this one choice, but that's fine. Um, she does so much stuff, it's ridiculous. Um, so I put all these things here to keep myself organized, but yeah, she's a bunch of different modes. Um, one of the cool ones is fencer mode. I already have a sword, I don't know why I grabbed another. But all you really need to do is, um, go up to her with this, and put it in her first slot in her inventory. And then, um, to actually get her going, you need to use sugar. Sugar is the most important thing in this mod. Um, you always use it on her to get her to do things. And now she has the sword out, and she will go out fighting. You see that slime over there? She'll, she'll just own it. She'll own anything. And she will go around destroying everything. She is a killing machine. She really, she really is. It's pretty ridiculous, actually. All right, and then there is the ripper. No, I'm not going in order. Archer mode. All right, so this one, um, as you can imagine, is pretty similar to um, the first one. All right, you come here. All right, I'm going to give you a bow. Bow needs to go in the first slot, guys. So it's pretty obvious um, how it works. First slot is um, the thing that she's going to be using. And then you need to use sugar on her to, um, to make her do it. All right, so you'll make sure. So she's in archer mode now. Um, what we should do is get her near these mobs just to test everything. I've got to make sure everything is working perfectly here. All right, come this way. You have some mobs to kill. Go for it. And her accuracy is supposed to be that of a skeleton. Holy shit. All right, there she goes. So, yeah, she is fighting, and she needs arrows to be able to do this. And it is getting dark out. It is not that easy to stop her. She is a killing machine, so you really need to you need to, you need to get rid of that bow and, and quickly use some sugar on her. All right, there we go. All right, so now she is back to following me around. All right, so, okay. She, and she will go into waiting mode if she has nothing to do. Um, that is one thing. I think you can actually get her into waiting mode, which I did before. Let's see. So yeah, now she's in waiting mode. If you use one sugar on her, and what waiting mode is, it'll just keep her there, and she won't really do anything. She'll stand there. So if you need her to stay somewhere and not follow you around, that would be a good way to go. But um, this is the perfect time for um, the other one to show you guys, and this one is the torture mode. And um, she will put down torches for you at night. It's getting dark, so I figured this is the perfect one to show you guys. All right, so put torches in the first thing, and as you can imagine, sugar. So it's really simple and easy to remember how to do. And she's just going to run around... And put torches everywhere because it's so dark out. She'll just go on forever, really. <laughs> it's pretty, it'd be good in like um, a mine shaft or something. Out here, it's ridiculous because I put it in the super flat. She'll just run out of torches eventually. There's too many, you can't you can't go on forever. Give me those torches back. All right, um, did I did I get them? Are you all right? All right, come back here. Okay, so now we got her following me again in escort mode. Um, there is bloodsucker mode. This is an interesting one. Um, if you give her an axe, she will kill everything. I mean everything. Animals, monsters. She'll kill that other maid, which I actually want to see. Which happened to me before. Alright, there you go. Have some sugar. I know you love sugar. Alright, go, go, get her. Get her the other maid. <laughs> oh man, it's funny. So yeah, she'll kill anything. She will kill um, all these mobs. She'll kill cows and whatever. I'm pretty sure it shows you that she'll kill anything that it killed the maid. But um, what you could do is use a book on her, and you can actually choose what you want her to attack. All you have to do is click on these. So, um, bat, you click on it, and you can, you know, click it a couple times, and get it to go to one of the other ones. I think you got to double click it. Yeah, that's what it is. Double click. Double click will get you to the next one. So, um, unknown. I don't know exactly what unknown means. It pretty much means she'll attack them. Um, from the looks of things, because little, um, little maid is under unknown, and she just totally annihilates them. So you'd want them under friendly, probably. 
Uh, I guess the ones that you... Okay, so what she does is she attacks the ones um, who you... Um, you don't know, I guess. That's what it looks like. But um, she'll just go attack those. I don't know why it says unknown, but um, she'll go do it. And she's going after the slime. Um, there is another mode called the Ripper mode. And with this one, you give her shears, and she's supposed to shear uh, sheep, but that's actually the one of the bugs. So that one does not work at all, guys. So there isn't anything to show you there. Um, so yeah, come come here. We need to stop you. You're too you're too strong and powerful. All right. So um, let's stop. Oh God, come back here. No, come back, come back, come back. You don't even have a weapon anymore. Relax. No, she's in wait mode. All right, there we go. So yeah, you're gonna need a ton of sugar, as you can tell. Um, one thing you could do is um, you give her a clock. I haven't gotten this to work for whatever reason, and she's supposed to tell you what time it is. On occasion, I guess and she must just not do it very often. And it's like out loud. You have to download the sound file, which is optional, which I did. So you will get some sound um from her. I'm actually not getting as many as I thought I would, but what are you gonna do? But yeah, she's supposed to say out loud what time it is, I believe. All right. Also, see, I had to do. There's so many of these that I had to, you know, I had to do them out like this. If you give her coal, she will cook, but she needs food. You need food. All right. What we can do is we can spawn some cows. I think that'll be smart. We'll spawn the cows, and I'll give her an I'll give her an axe and put her in blood sucker, and that should be that should work. And then she'll have some meat for the cooking mode. All right. So here you go. I'm going to give you an X, and you can keep the clock. I don't know that the clock has to be in first spot. I just haven't had any luck with it, to be 100% um, honest. All right, so have some sugar and destroy these cows for me. Damn, she <laughs> she goes at it ridiculously, like beastly. Um, grab some of the food. Okay, so you see she grabbed some of the food, and this is what I was trying to do, was um, to give her the food. So she'll have this in her inventory. Let me get rid of this, and I will give her the coal now and switch it back. And now she is in cooking mode, and as you can see, um, I have this, she'll light up the furnace right there, and she'll cook, and she'll wait till it's done, and she'll put it back in her inventory, and then she'll put in more food if she has more food in her inventory. Oh, sorry, sorry, didn't mean to, oh god. Yeah, that's one thing you don't want to do is, um, click too much with this. How, why are you following me? Oh god, it's because she put the coal in there. Give me the coal back, some of it. Alright, bad example right here, guys. Don't get too crazy with the sugar. There she goes. Now she's cooking again. And, um, I believe she took the other ones out now. Oh, shit. Keep clicking on that. But, yeah, she did take out the two steaks, and she has cooked those. And she'll do that with all the food, so it's actually a really useful mode. Um, healer is another really cool one. Um, I'm keeping this food in her inventory for that one, because she actually needs it for that one. So, what what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the food right there, and I'm actually going to keep some sugar on her. Sugar heals her, which is interesting. Um, also in here, she can use splash potions on you, which is a really useful combat thing. So what she will do is use, um, the food on you for your hunger and splash potions on you for your health. But what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna set me to, um, set me to survive. I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Okay, guys, so now I am in survival, and we'll test this out. I actually had a crash, but you know what happens, um, with some mods. But what are you gonna do? Okay, so what we're gonna test this out is, um, so she's got Splash Potion and Steak, and what you have to do is have Splash Potion in the first slot for her to use those on you, and you need Steak in the first slot for that to use, for her to use that on you. And basically, um, my hunger's fine, so I'm only gonna be taking damage, so we'll just test out the Splash Potions. So, um, here we go. Give her the sugar, and... Okay, so I think she's ready to go. She needs a bunch to start her off because I just retamed her. So she's a healer now, and here we go. I'm, I don't know. I don't think I want to go for creepers. <laughs> I can't imagine that'll go very well. Try to direct one mob. All right, hurry up. And hopefully she will heal me. <laughs> she's not the best healer, though, guys, because one of the problems with Splash Potion is, of course, they're not stackable. But yeah, we'll see how this goes. It also does not make a noise when she throws the Splash Potion at you. So I'm fighting. I'm trying to take some damage. Okay, so she just healed me. As you saw, my health went back up. But now she does no more splash potions in her first slot, so I'm gonna die. Oh, never mind. She actually healed me. So, no, it does work better than I thought it did. But now she's run out, and things are not going so well. Not going so well. Okay, now we are gonna throw this on peaceful <laughs> and show you guys the last thing. There is one more thing to this, and this is pretty ridiculous. You can actually take um, string and um, use it on her like a leash. You can use a leash on her to force her to come with you. And it really, it, this really should be against the law or something. I don't know. It just seems wrong. This seems very, 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 very wrong, guys. But 
if you really need her to come with you, you can force her with some string, and you can even drag her backwards like this, which I figured out, which is, which is hilarious and wrong at the same time. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this um mod review. Feel free to download it; it is in the description, and to um comment, rate, and subscribe for more cool videos. I'll see you guys later.